So we will do back line. Same thing, distance, right? We talked about that. This is way too far. If she's too close, you're too scrunched up, right? Make it right, right around there is fine, okay? Same thing with the hips. The back, have, they have hips just like the front. A little harder to find with, because when you, their butt's sticking out like that, it's hard to find that hip bone. But if you tuck the shoulder, it's one way to help. But also you use your feet, you kind of touch. You feel there's a hip bone there too. Again, the balls of the feet, right on there. Okay. Let's do a fall first. Am I just coming back? I forgot to demonstrate a fall. Oh crap! Boom! Because you can meet too far, you're meeting the fly too far, you're too crunched. And if your wrists go beyond your shoulders, you're going back that way. And especially, <laughs> I like that. For me, demonstrating falls is important because you don't want to dwell on it, but you want to be aware of it. Because you can really get hurt in that grow. And that's why, that's the reason why I find it. That's part of the fun, is because that little bit of edge, like that little bit of danger. It's not like regular yoga going on the ground. This, that, that elevation that creates like a feeling of like ecstasy. You're, you're, you're literally high, right? But you can also get hurt, so you want to be real careful. Um, so you know the worst fall coming over. Also, the falls to the side can be bad. So you, again, you want to meet them in the middle before you drop them. Flyers bring the feet down and the hands down before the head hits. You're good, okay? Uh, now let's focus on what we can do to create that. A uh, nice safe back fly. Let's, let's first show what it looks like, Magda. Lean back. Well, now we know back fly like that. We can also stag one knee. Let's bring one knee towards you to create that look. When you stagger knee, it's just like bow. It makes your shoulder really heavy this way, so you want to give more gas that way. Okay, so that's just demonstrating what it could look like. Go okay. back down, and let's break it down bit by bit. Distance, hands are there, hip bones, use it, use your toes to find it, or where the shirt meets the pants usually. Find the balls of the feet. The flyer can grab the base's ankles for added support as she leans back. And normally uh, flyers are afraid of really leaning back, so you have to tell them, you have to trust me, you have to really arch your head back. Go ahead and drop your head, Magna. And it's hard for you to reach her shoulders, so grab her triceps first. Meet her in the middle, push out with the legs and the arms at the same time, up the elbow, like that. So it gives you a lot of control. You have four points, not just the legs, but the arms help push up too. Once you're here and she can let go of the ankles, you can slowly walk towards the sh shoulders there. And it's a very common thing for bases to go like that. Mm -hmm. Like legs are way beyond this way because you have your arms here. You think, oh, I can just put the weight in the arms. So try to keep that 90 right there. That's where it's stacked. Okay. And again, the hands are up in case there's a fall always like that. Um, the flyer really bends back. Another common mistake is the flyers will keep their legs straight up like this for some reason. Bend it so where the, the, your whole body drapes over. Just like a, like a wet cloth, just straight. Makes it very easy to base like that, okay? Your hands are up. And then if you want to do the stagged knee, slow movements, right? Small movements. It forces and when she stags, all oh, that weight starts to pour in your hands. So you have to give a little more gas that way and keep your hands up. More gas, just like bow. And that creates a nice pretty look. Different lines with the legs. And same thing with the down, hands up. Meet her in the middle. Make sure her feet touch down. The common mistake is to kick so hard like and like throw her against the wall. So really like meet her in the middle and gently kick out. Gently kick out. It's, you're not you're not you're not trying to like remove someone, you're just gonna gently force them forward. There you go. Give it a try.